Hello, hello, I am back with another video. This is going to be a vlog style type video. I'm going to be decorating my front porch or front door area. I'm so excited. This is the last thing that I have to do in my house for the fall time. So I'm excited to finally be getting that done. I'm going to be going to Michael's. I wanna go and get a few things from there. I already have kind of an idea of what I wanna do. I'm also going to be going to one of our local grocery stores and getting some of the pretty mums that everyone puts by their front door. I'm gonna to try to pick up some pumpkins as well because your girl is just totally in the fall spirit, even though it is like 85 degrees outside today, you guys. It's absolutely insane. But I'm definitely still soaking in the warm weather because I know winter is going to be coming after fall and I'm not excited for that at all. So we are still soaking it in as much as we can before it's really cold outside. So I'm just going to be bringing you guys along today and showing you guys what is in the stores that we go to and how I decorate my front door. I rarely wear my hair up, but today is one of those days where I just do not care. I apologize about all this crap in the background. It's all the stuff that I need to sell and put out for people to come pick up. So my arms are getting tired already. I feel like I need to work out a little bit more. You would think my upper body strength would be better with being a hairstylist, but it is not. I also wanted to thank you guys again for all of the love and support from my accident. It is a few days after and things have been a little rough. Today is a good day and it's going to be a good day, so I thought I would go ahead and vlog for you guys. I am thinking about making a whole entire video of just what's been going on and how I've been handling it because obviously I've never been through a situation like this before and it's been a little rough. So if you guys would like to see that, let me know in the comments down below. But nonetheless, thank you guys so much. One of my followers sent me a Starbucks gift card and that was just the sweetest thing ever. If you're watching this, thank you so much. I just am absolutely amazed by all the messages and the love and all of that stuff, you guys are absolutely awesome, so thank you so, so much. My mom is currently coming in right now to come and pick me up. We may go stop at the taco truck that's in my neighborhood at the farmer's market because it's probably not gonna be there for much longer. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you probably haven't ever seen it, but this taco truck has the best tacos ever, you guys. like. I am obsessed, so I may try to convince my mom to go over there and grab a few tacos before we go, grab a pumpkin spice latte, we're gonna go to Michael's, like I said, and all of the things. So before we get going, I wanted to unbox this package that I got in the mail from Scentbird. I have worked with them so many times and I absolutely love their company. If you have never heard of Scentbird, they are a monthly subscription service that gives you the opportunity to sample over 600 brands in the fragrance, cosmetic, skincare, and wellness category. So we're going to unbox everything in here so I can share with you what I got this month. So as you can see, I do have two of the actual perfumes vials that they send you. These are my absolute favorite, you guys. I got two of them this month. So they're super easy to use. All you do is just twist up and you can spray. And then if you want to take it out, all you do is simply pull up. So this is the first scent that I got. It is called Layla Lou. I really like this scent because it's light and it's not super overwhelming. I'm not a huge fan of scents that are really strong. This is the second scent that I got this month. We're just going to take this out. So this is the Ellie Tahari scent. I really like this one as well. Again, not a super strong scent. I absolutely love getting these in the mail because it gives you a 30 day supply so that you can try out the perfume before spending money on the big version. So those are the two scents that I got. I did also get this really awesome lip scrub. So it is the Acai and Mango Sugar Lip Scrub. I cannot wait to try this because my lips are so dry here in Colorado. And then I did also get this, which is very interesting. I'm excited to try it. So these are actually plant-based food bites with vitamins and minerals. So it's daily essentials for women. So this is what the back of it looks like. It tells you the ingredients and nutrients in there. It's vegan, gluten-free, soy-free, and corn-free. And then
then there is the nutrition facts right there. So I'm excited to try these out. I had no idea that Scentbird was now carrying this. It's really great because they are $14.95 a month and you can add on to your monthly subscription if you are wanting to add on any skincare, makeup, or wellness items. I do also have a 30% off discount code for you guys. It's just mall 30. I will leave a link to Scentbird's website in the description box down below along with my discount code for you guys if you are interested in trying them out. So thank you so much to Scentbird for sending out all of these goodies. I cannot wait to try them out. So I hope that you guys enjoy this vlog style type video. I don't do vlogs that often anymore. So maybe we'll get back into it if you guys enjoy it. So let's go ahead and get on going. So I forgot my camera at home, but this is what I kind of want to do with my front porch area. I'm debating on getting some like fake pumpkins maybe. I don't know. I feel like they'll fly away 100% <laughs> if I do. But they're $7.99 and then they have a bigger one too out front that's like $9.99. So here's the size difference. Is this the small one? Yeah. So this is the smaller one and then that's the bigger. The price difference isn't a ton. It's just a couple dollars. Or I could just get, I mean, that kind of looks cute how they have that one kind of to the yeah. side, you know? No, no. Here's some of their Halloween stuff that they have here. I don't do a ton for Halloween. You guys saw in my decorate with me, but they have some cute stuff. This is cute. The witch is in. Super cute too. Just a bunch of hocus pocus. <laughs> That's adorable too. All right, so we just got back. These are the two pumpkins that I got. This one's really bright orange, which I liked. And then we got this interesting one. These are the two hay bales that I got here. And then this is the mum that I got, so I'm gonna set everything up. Here's what we're working with. I need to clean this off because it's a little dirty, but we'll set it up and I'll show you guys what it looks like after. All right, I think I finished most of it. I don't know if I should put something here or if that looks okay. You guys will have to let me know. I feel like another pumpkin wouldn't look good there, so. I don't know, let me know. If you guys were wondering where I got this from, they're both from Hobby Lobby. So I'll try to link them for you guys if I can find them. And then like I said, the two hay bales are from Michael's. And then the mums and the two pumpkins are from my local grocery store. If you guys have a Kroger around you guys, that's probably where you'd find them at. It's a little overview of my front door. I like the way it came out for the most part. I feel like... I just don't know what to do with this little area, but maybe I'll figure something out. I'm gonna take my dog's pictures and have this little girl sit right there, if she will, and then have Lola sit there. So we'll try to take those today maybe and see if we can make it work. I actually just remembered that I have this little cute wheelbarrow with the pumpkins inside that I usually put out there as well. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to figure out where to put this. Um, my doggies are wanting attention, huh? Are you wondering what that is? <laughs> we took their pictures in front of this little thing last year, so we shall see how this year goes. This little girl is the one who doesn't cooperate with pictures. Huh, Zozie? You tell everyone that you and your sister are okay from the accident, huh? So we're doing okay, huh? You're so cute, Lola. You are too, huh, Zozi? <laughs> I wanted to show you guys my island too because I never included it in my decorate with me. So this is what my island ended up turning out like. So I got these two pumpkins, which these are kind of a little bit off there. I got the Buffalo Chuck pumpkins at the dollar spot section in Target. 
I got this little guy, which I am so excited about. One of the girls local to me actually got him for me. He is from Marshalls and Home Goods. And then for the centerpiece part, I got this at Hobby Lobby. All of the little picks on the side are actually from the dollar spot section in Target. And so is that other Buffalo Check pumpkin as well. I believe this little sign is from TJ Maxx or Hobby Lobby. I can't remember. Don't remember where this little vase is from either, but I just put some lamb's ear and some different little fall picks in there as well. This is from Michael's, which I have actually showed you guys before. I keep it out pretty much year long and I just have some Ray Dunn bowls in there. So that is how my island turned out. I'm pretty happy with it. I also got a new wreath for my pantry door. So this is what it looks like. I still haven't taken the tag off of it. As you can see, it's still right here. But I really like it. It's like a little bike wheel, which I thought was adorable, with some greenery. It's not super fall. You can definitely keep it up, even in like the spring and summer if you wanted to. So this is what my kitchen table looks like. I just added a few things. So I added my two birdhouses, which I should be filming a Ray Dunn haul coming soon. I don't know which video is gonna go live first, but that is what the centerpiece looks like. I'm also really happy with it. It's very simple. I got a different table runner as well. I got the Buffalo Chuck one. I got it from Hobby Lobby. I can try to link it as well if you guys are interested. And then I did also get this cute little gnome, which I have no idea what I'm gonna do with him because I don't really have anywhere to put him, so. I don't know, hopefully I'll find a little area. My parents got me this cute little mouse. I thought it was adorable, it has like a little buffalo check scarf on. It's actually kind of like an inside joke because I actually had a mice issue, which I've never really mentioned to you guys, but I had an issue with mice like a couple weeks ago probably where I had a family of baby mice in my yard outside on my grass. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw it. It was a joyful time, but my parents got that for me because they thought it was oh so funny that I had mice in my yard. So that's a little bit of an inside joke. I think I'm gonna go outside and try to take the dog's pictures. I have people coming over to pick stuff up, so I don't want to like be in the middle of taking pictures while they come and pick it up, but we're just gonna try and see if we can get this to to work and I will set you guys up so you can see kind of how they do. Okay. Come here, Lily. Let's get a treat out. Okay. Come here, Lily. Come here, you need to sit right here. Come here. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Come here, Lily. Okay, here. Okay, sit. Sit right there. Stay. Come here, Lily. Sit. Sit. Come here. Sit. <laughs> this is not gonna work. Huh. It's not gonna work. You wanna try to take one by yourself? Come here, Lily. Come here. Sit right here. Come here. Good girl. Come here, stay. Stay right there. Cheers. Mama. Lovey. You're out full of them. Hey now. Okay, so now that we are inside from taking pictures, I just wanted to show you guys a few of my favorites. So this is the first one. And then this one's probably my favorite. I know it's gonna be kind of hard to like focus, but I hope you guys can see that pretty well. This one's probably my favorite because my little Pomeranian's ears is up. She has her ears down in all the other ones. And then there's this one. She still looks pretty happy in that picture. <laughs> Zoe looks kind of crazy with her little tongue hanging out. And then there's that one as well. So I think out of all of the pictures, this one's my favorite just because they're both kind of looking and I think it's absolutely adorable. 
So you guys will have to let me know what you think of them. I absolutely love my doggies. They are my kiddos, so we take pictures every single season. So that is going to be it for this vlog today. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see more of them as well, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear what you guys think of my new front porch area and how you guys like my puppy's little pictures. I do enjoy filming vlogs for you guys, so if you do want to see more like I said I'll definitely film more for you guys it is five o'clock now and me and my parents are gonna go to see a movie I think it's called the hustlers I'm excited to see it I just watched commercials for it and it looks really good so we're gonna go see a movie and probably get dinner I'm not exactly sure even what time the movie is so we're gonna do that that's gonna be the rest of my night I do not work tomorrow so I do have another day off and I am going to film my raid down haul for you guys as well so I can get that up for you. You guys should be seeing that within the next few days. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye, stay marvelous. Mm -hmm.